first Delaware Governor John Carney signed House Bill 241 on Friday, September 20th. This bill expands the composition of the Employment First Oversight Commission. It adds two leaders from the Department of Health and Social Services to the commission, the Director of the Division for Visually Impaired and the Director of the Division of Substance Abuse and Mental Health. State Representative Deborah Heffernan, the primary sponsor of the bill, and Cindy Sterling, Chair of the Employment Oversight Commission, spoke at the event, as did Molly McGarrick, Deputy Secretary of the Department of Health and Social Services. What this does is it adds the Director of the Division of Visually Impaired and the Director of the Substance Abuse and Mental Health to the Commission, and it also um, changes an officer's term from one year to two year, and it takes away the prohibition on officers serving consecutive terms. Madam Chair, would you like to talk about what the Commission's doing and well, how this will I'd help? Well, i first like to thank you. I think now we have all of our partners included in the state, and I think it also includes some of our councils too, so I think it really right. brings together all the partners that need to be at the table. And what we're looking to do is to continue to keep Delaware in the forefront of providing services to people with disabilities, and I think we're on that path. Molly, would you like to say sure. something on behalf of the department? Absolutely. Well, I want to recognize Alicia Jenkins, the uh, director of the division for the visually impaired, thank you, uh, and then Kara Sawyer, who's filling in for Elizabeth Romero. Kara's mm -hmm. the deputy at uh, the Division of Substance Abuse and Mental Health, um, so they're the ones that do all the hard work. Uh, obviously, when we can acknowledge the full range of uh, people with disabilities, including lower incidence populations like those with visually impaired and also recognize that uh, mental health and other behavioral health conditions are a recognized disability. Uh, I think we just do a service to the community and to our state in bringing individuals into the forefront. And then I think it, especially in this tight labor economy, we really need to be emphasizing and continuing to point out that uh, people with disabilities are valuable employees, they're valuable members of our community, and we need to make sure that, again, we continue to push and to urge employers to um, please look at this community and our department and commissions like this are here to help and figure out how we support those with disabilities and being able to keep their jobs and um, live productive, happy, and engaging lives. So this is House Bill 241. Representative Hefferman did a great job in describing what it, what it does. It's pretty simple, really, in adding members and perspectives to the Workforce Commission, mm -hmm. Employment First Commission.